Don't you hate it when you walk into a bathroom all innocently and the automatic air freshener sprays as soon as you set foot through the door? I mean, really? Talk about rudeness. So I just got here and you already feel the need to scent my path. I mean, how's that meant to make a girl feel? Can you imagine if a guy did that on like a first date or something? Like, oh, oh, oh my word, you look beautiful. Like, wow, but just hold up one second. Let me Febreze you up first. Yeah, somehow, I don't think that would go down so well. But then again, that might just be me and, you know, my high standards and all. And also, I know that's oust, not Febreze. But can you imagine if I was like, let me oust you up first? That just sounds dodgy, so let's pretend it's Febreze. Anyway, I should probably introduce myself. My name's Ditsy Polkadot. Um, Ditsy Polkadot. Uh, that's not my real name. And yet I can hear you guys being like oh yeah obviously who's called ditzy polka dot but with names like apple flying about i just feel the need to clarify um my real name is not ditzy um my real name is much dodgier than that but actually wait backtrack um to save myself a really excruciating phone call from my mother i should probably say my real name is unusual yeah, no, I re I do like my real name. It's just it's just unusual. I mean, really, I could be called anything, couldn't I? I mean, we you could name your kid anything you want. You could name your kid Television if you wanted to, or Nando's. That might that might be copyright. I'm not quite sure, but you know, we could you could name them anything. So um, yeah, but just call me Dits, Ditsy. You might know me by my blogs. Um, I used to blog. I still blog. But I decided to blog rather than vlog before because I could basically look a wreck and post and no one would know. I could literally be in bed in my pink discoloured fluffy robe and um, popcorn sprawled everywhere, including in my hair. Mm. Um, you know, looking complete sort of no makeup wreck and you guys would think I was a dignified, civilised, beautiful person that really had her life together. Yeah, I knew that once I started vlogging I'd have to make an effort and that is not something I do well. Um, this is my effort. I went to work and I had none of this on my face, literally no makeup. So you see all this, like, look at that, that mascara, yeah, and eyeliner, and liner in my waterline, and brushed eyebrows, yeah, because they're really dodgy, I have to brush them, and with an eyebrow brush, not like a hairbrush, and like bronzer and lip gloss. This is, this is all for you, my friend. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, that was dodgy. Anyway, um, <laughs> I love the fact that I say this is an effort for you, but I still look terrible. Right, um, <laughs> I had a song in my head all day today, and I feel the need to express this. Right, Thinking Out Loud by my favourite ginger, Ed Sheeran. Are we allowed to say favourite ginger? Is that a little bit hair racist? I'm not sure. I'm sorry if it offends. Anyway, Ed Sheeran, Thinking Out Loud. It's a lovely song. It's very romantic. And I was singing it to myself and it was like that whole, darling I will be loving you till we're 70. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, yeah, slight issue, Edward, Ed, Sheeran, Edward, Sheeran, Ed. Um, 70? Like, what does that mean? So, when I get to 70, does the love stop? Does the love, in the words of One Republic, run out? I, mm. See, somehow that's not working for me. Because if I turn 70, will you be like, right, it's your 70th birthday. The love that I had for you, just gone. I'm sorry, I don't know where it is. But I did warn you in a song that I wrote when we were like in our 20s, that I will love you until 70, bam, cut off point. I no longer love you. 
Mm, yeah, somehow that sort of zaps the romance out of the song for me because, you know, I intend to live to about 89, right? Um, so that's 19 years without you, Ed. Like, can I even, ooh, even to think about it now, it's like, I don't know if I could do that. I mean, past 89, if I am alive at 90, you can stop loving me because chances are I will have forgotten who you are. But I need a bit more commitment. Like, come on, at least 80. I mean, or does that just mean I'm going to die at 70? I mean, it's just horrible. It's horrible. I'm sorry. But it's really ruined the song for me. I'm not a negative person. Really, I'm not. But um, I thought I'd just share that little point. And, you know, if Ed Sheeran could, like, get in contact and just be like, Oh, dits. You're reading too much into it. 70, I really meant 700. Meh. Well, this is a terrible angle. I am, wow. Like, ooh, ooh. Check that double chin out. I apologise about that. I apologise about the angle. I apologise about my face. Um, anyway, that's my thoughts. That is all I have to say on the matter. Um... Go check the song out though, because it's actually really lovely and really romantic, apart from the until 70 bit, you know, just skim over that and you'll be alright. Okay, so I feel like I should do something really cool, like, ooh, I'm Ditsy Polka Dot, that's sign language if you don't know that, DPD. Ooh, I like that, DP. nah, it's just not working. I feel like I should do something really cool, but that's not going to happen, so I'm out before I make more of a fool of myself. See you in a bit, bye.